Hello class, this is Ms. Augustine. We're still in Chapter 3, and today we're going to talk about scientific notation. So with scientific notation, it's a way that we use to write very big and very small numbers in science. And we're going to be encountering numbers like 6 times 10 to the 23 and 2 times 10 to the minus 19. So again, in scientific notation, a number is written as the product of two numbers, where the format looks like this, m times 10 to the n. And m is called the coefficient, and it's a number between 1 and 10, meaning we can only have one digit to the left of the decimal point, and n is an integer. So how do we express significant figures with scientific notation? Because we're going to be using big and small numbers, but we also always have to express them correctly in terms of significant figures. So in that format of m times 10 to the n, it turns out that m, the coefficient, is how we communicate the correct number of significant figures for a measurement. So let's first look at taking a number in standard notation and converting it to scientific notation. So step one, insert the understood decimal point. Step two, decide where that decimal point should end up so that there's only one digit to its left. That would be there between the two and the five. And now we need to count how many places we bounce our decimal point. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we can rewrite the number in the form m times 10 to the n. So 2.5 times 10 to the ninth. And you'll notice that the exponent is the number of places that we bounced the decimal or moved the decimal. Also notice that the exponent is a positive number because this number was greater than one. In fact, it's 2.5 billion. How about a really small number? So in this case, we're going to step one, locate the decimal point, there it is. Step two, decide where it must end up so that there's only one digit to its left, that's between the five and the seven. And now count how many places you bounce your decimal point. So one, two, three, four, five. So now we can rewrite the number in the form m times 10 to the n. So that would be 5.79 times 10 to the minus five. And notice that the exponent is a negative number because the number we started with was less than one. So I'm gonna give you a couple examples. So here, 45,000 is written as 4.5 times 10 to the four. Notice this number had two significant figures and that number has two significant figures. Here, 0 0.00045, rewritten 4.5 times 10 to the minus four, two sig figs, two sig figs. One more example, 53,000, rewritten 5.3 times 10 to the four, two sig figs, two sig figs. And if we wanted to analyze this, we would say that the coefficient is 5.3 and the exponent is four. So if the number you started with was greater than one, your exponent will be a positive number. And if the number you started with was less than one, your exponent is a negative number. So now let's do some calculations with scientific notation. And we're gonna start with addition and subtraction. So if we have four times 10 to the six, which is four million, and we're adding three times 10 to the six, which is three million, those numbers are of the same magnitude, so we just add them, and we get seven times 10 to the six, or seven million. So again, if the exponential part is the same, which means the number has the same magnitude, you could just go ahead and add them. And if we're subtracting, and they have the same magnitude, you just subtract the coefficients and carry down your exponent, and the same holds true. But sometimes they're not the same magnitude. 
So if the exponents are not the same, we must do one of two things. We can either move the decimal to make them the same, or we can convert to standard notation, perform the calculation, and then go back to scientific. I'll show you both. So for starters, moving the decimal on the smaller number. So we've got 4 times 10 to the 6 and 3 times 10 to the 5. This is the smaller number, so we're going to move the decimal point. So that would be 4 times 10 to the 6 plus 0.3 times 10 to the 6, and that gives us 4.3 times 10 to the 6. The other way is to convert them to standard notation. So 4 times 10 to the 6 plus 3 times 10 to the 5th would be 4 million plus 300,000. And when we add that together, we get 4 million 300,000. We can convert that back to scientific notation and get 4.30 times 10 to the 6th. Um, now, what about if we're doing multiplication and division? So thankfully we have calculators. So for multiplication and division, given a number like this, 4.1 times 10 to the 6 times 3.3 .3 times 10 to the 7, you're going to use your calculator and follow these simple guidelines. Do not, repeat, do not use the caret key. It becomes a problem with the calculations we're doing because of the syntax and you'd need a lot of parentheses. Instead, use your EE or EXP key and be mindful of the syntax. So I'm going to show you three calculators here and I'm going to show you on this type, type of calculator there's an EE key on the um, Texas Instrument 30X Solar you have a second function and then you have an EE so you would hit second EE and in this Casio you have an EXP function. So just showing you what the numbers might look like depending on which calculator you have. So again if you use the EE button here and you were putting in 3.3 .3 times 10 to the 7 you'll see the exponent is kind of offset in the um, solar calculator, the TI-30X2S, you'll see how it looks. This capital E means times 10 raised to the power. So you want to be careful that when you plug this in, 4.1, second function, exponent, you get that E, and then just your power as here, the 6. And then again, 3.3, the E means times 10 raised to the, in this case, 7th power. And on the Casio, it shows you an offset for your exponent. And again, just pointing out the buttons that we're, we're pressing to get these things in the calculator. So now, 4.1 times 10 to the 6 times 3.3 .3 times 10 to the 7. I would enter 4.1, press 2nd, press EE for the scientific uh, notation in the um, pink calculator, then I would enter my 6, then times, and then enter my 3.3, .3, the coefficient, press second EE to get in my power of 10, which is a 7, press equal, and I will get that. And then the display should read something like this. I'll show you that in a moment. And then you're going to round your answer before you report it to me to 1.4 times 10 to the 14 two significant figures. So on the three calculators, what would it look like? So on the first uh, TI, where we use the EE button, it will look like this with this little offset. On the pink calculator, the TI-30X2S, you'll see my final display is going to look like this. and. It's kind of tiny, but this actually says 1.353 times 10 to the 14th. And then on the Casio calculator, again, it shows it with an offset for the exponential. So we'll do lots of worksheets, and I'll remind you lots of times how we're going to enter these numbers in. For now, this is Miss Augustine signing off.